this is another equation practice video and this one's six questions on power so power is current times voltage and power is current squared times resistance the units are all below so power is measured in watts or meters per second remember power is the rate of transfer of energy so if you've got something that's running at 100 watts that means that it's transferring 100 joules of energy every second we've got current in amps Voltage in volts and resistance is measured in ohms. All right, let's start with these first two questions and then I'll go through the answers. All right, let's have a look at these first two. Remember to pause at any point if you need to. So a lamp has a current of 8.2 amps uh, running through it and a potential difference of 1.9 volts. Calculate the electrical power. So that one's current and voltage, so that's simply P equals I times V. And we simply need to multiply the numbers together. So current is 8.2 amps multiplied by 1.9 volts. And that gives us 15.6 watts. If you wrote 16 watts, that's fine. Okay, let's look at the second one. So this one, a lamp has a current of 6.08 amps through it and electrical power of 31 0.4 watts. This time we're going to calculate the potential difference or the voltage. So it's P equals IV. So to get V, make it the subject, we need to get rid of a times I. So we need to move that to the other side by doing the opposite. So power divided by current will give us voltage. Then we just need to put our numbers in. So power is 31.4 watts divided by 6.08 amps. And that gives a potential difference or voltage of 5.2 volts. Okay, if you want to pause and have a go at the third one, then I'll take for the answer. Be careful with the units. Okay, so in this one, an LED has a potential difference of 600 millivolts. Little mer is milli, which means divide by 1,000, and an electrical power of 450 milliwatts. Calculate the current. So it's the same one, P equals IV. So this one want current, so we need to get rid of a times V. So do the opposite, divide by V on the other side, and that gives us current. So we need to do power, which is 450 milliwatts. So you should divide that by 1,000 to give you 0 0.45 watts. Divided by the voltage of 600 millivolts, so divide that by 1,000 gives you 0 0.6. If you calculate that, you should get 0 0.75 amps. All right, let's try some P equals I squared R questions. All right, if you want to pause and have a go at these, and then I'll take you through the answers when you've done them. So the first one, a resistor has a current of 9.6 amps through it and a resistance of 540 ohms, and we're going to calculate the power dissipated by the resistor. Okay, so let's have a look. So that's power equals current squared times the resistance. So when you calculate, you just need to do 9.6 squared multiplied by 540. Do not square the entire thing. And that gives us 49,766 watts. If you've written 50 kilowatts, that's fine. If you've rounded it up to two significant figures. All right, let's look at number five before we do number six. So number five. The device has a current of 9.1 amps through it and a power of 30 kW, so that means kilowatts. So that's 30,000 with times by 1,000. This time we need to calculate the resistance, so power equals I squared R. And we need to make R the subject. So sometimes people can struggle with this one, but R is simply multiplied by I squared. So the opposite of timesing by I squared is simply dividing by I squared to give us the resistance. So the power is 30 kilowatts, so that's 30,000. You could write 30 times 10 to the power of 3 if you wish. Divided by the current squared, so we need to do 9.1 squared. And that gives a resistance of 362 ohms. Right, let's do the final one. If you want to pause and have a go at this one. Alright, I'll take for the answer. So this one, it says the device has a power of 0 0.5 MW. So capital M means megawatt, which is a million. So you could write 0 0.5, you could write 0 0.5 and then times it by a million in your calculator, or you could simply do 0 0.5 mega, which is times 10 to the power of 6 watts. But same answer, completely up to you. 
uh, the resistance of 50 kilo ohms. And this time we're going to calculate the, the currents. So we need P equals I squared R times R. So what we need to do first of all is get rid of the times R. So the opposite of timesing by R is simply dividing by R on the other side, and that'll give us current squared. Then obviously the current squared, we need to do the opposite of squaring, and the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So the current will be the square root of the power divided by the resistance. Then it's just a matter of putting the numbers in. So I'm going to do square root of the power, which is 0 0.5 megawatts. So I'm going to write 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of 6. Could just write half a million, 500,000. And then 50 kilo ohms. So you could write 50,000. So you could do that, 50,000 or 50 times 10 to the power of 3. Both the, the exact same thing. Depends how confident you are with uh, the standard form. Uh, is it standard form? The power stuff that you do in maths. Right, let's put that in the calculator. And we get a current of 3.16 amps. 3.16 amps. Right, hopefully that went okay. If not, and you need some more practice, just attempt the questions again. See if you can improve. But thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.